Welcome to my channel, I'm Dr. Romano. Today's video will be about why you should include a fund of funds in your portfolio. A fund of funds is a portfolio of hedge funds. And as you know, the future is hedge funds and they are, they have been doing quite well since the year 2000. They have been popping up all over the world and the numbers exceed 20,000. As I mentioned, a fund of funds is a portfolio of hedge funds. And the reason why behind I made this video is because someone asked me the question, why do you feel a funds of funds would be very important to invest in? There's a lot to it, but to make it short and in this video, it's important to take advantage of the market conditions when they are in that particular condition. And a hedge fund, but depending on their strategy, could do really well in that particular market condition, such as a 2020 market collapse. Some of the hedge funds did an excess of 100% return. Some did 20%, some did 30%. In today's past year, 2022, that was a really bad year for a lot of hedge funds, but some of them did really well. Before we continue the video, please remember to subscribe to my channel, please. And please do thumbs up. It will really help me out. You're going to get my videos no matter what, because that's how the algorithm works. But if you subscribe to it, it really helps me out. Thank you so much. To take advantage of all of that, a funds of funds is very important to include in your financial portfolio because the funds of funds will take advantage of the market conditions and do really well. And when the markets aren't doing so well, it will water down the losses. Whereas you are not proficient like myself as a doctor of hedge fund selection to know which hedge fund to invest in and when. That, that's not a game, it's an actual art. There's a strategy that that goes back to my PhD research. This is another reason why a fund of funds is very important to have uh, not just one fund of funds, but a number of funds of funds. And this is another reason why I would like to create multiple funds of funds. Every billion dollars have one fund of funds and have seven to eight hedge funds in that portfolio managing the billion dollars and so forth and then multiple funds of funds after I get to 100 billion etc so 100 billion you have 100 funds of funds trading and in each funds of funds you have seven hedge funds and so for investors this is really really important to have because you're not proficient at I don't know what your, how you made your money, but let's say you're not a trader. Let's say you're not in the financial industry. Let's say that you own Tesla. <laughs> well, you're making a lot of money now and you need to diversify that wealth because all your wealth is in the stock of the company, the 200 billion, whatever it is. Well, if that company goes bankrupt or somehow other companies catch up with the batteries and the technology, which they are, your net worth is gonna go down because the value of the company is gonna go down. Does that make sense? So this is why the owner of Tesla, the owner of GM, the owner of all these companies, they have to diversify their wealth. And unfortunately, a lot of their wealth is in company stock. So technically, if there were 250 billion, they're really not. Because the cash that they could take out is not a lot. If they start selling their shares, uh, but that dilutes their ownership and so forth. And so that's why when Henry Ford became very rich and he was the only company that took advantage of the assembly line, well, Tesla also took advantage of that concept and improved it to a, to a degree that it's incredible now. And he's able to turn a billion into trillions. So this is why if you're wealthy, if you're not wealthy, a funds of funds is really still really beneficial for you to have in your portfolio. And so talk about numbers. Okay, so a funds of fund looks like this. Your minimum investment is probably between 2.2 million, 200,000. It depends where that funds of funds is. 
So if it's outside the US, it's probably less. If it's in other states, it could be a million dollars. If you can make a 20% to 30% return per year, that's a lot of money. $2 million at $600,000 a year, or it could be $400,000 a year from $2 million. Of course, when the markets are producing and they're moving and there's a lot of volatility, it could do 50% return. And so for 2020, let's say, a 50% return on $2 million, that's a lot of money. And so think about your compounding rate, how faster, how much faster your, your wealth will grow in a funds of funds portfolio. Now, of course, not all funds of funds does 20%, 30% when the markets are actually moving because certain uh, portfolio managers, they, they learn from the investment banks. They all use the same in methodologies. I just proved those methodologies in my PhD, etc. This is why I have a hypothetical portfolio and it does so much better. Just because it has high returns, it doesn't mean that those returns are risky. Your 10% return could be risky too at a watered down funds of funds. Uh, it just depends on who's managing it basically. Um, but if you have 10 million putting up 20% in a funds of funds, you still have 8 million to invest elsewhere in different funds of funds. If you follow my market timing in my other video that I posted, you'll understand which markets to invest in when. Uh, and I'm not going to go over it right now. You'll have to watch the other videos. But I just want to tell you why a funds of funds is so beneficial. You're reducing the risk by investing in the funds of funds. Who is investing in seven to eight hedge funds? Um, you're investing in a fund. You're not going to lose your money because the fund of funds has an administrator, also a hedge fund accountant. Those are two independent companies that's required by the law. And so to say, oh, the funds of funds manager is going to walk off with your money, that's not going to happen. It's impossible in America um, because the administrator who's overseeing everything financially and the hedge fund accounting knows where the money is, they both work together. So to have two separate companies collude, that's, uh, that's very, very minimal risk. Uh, of course, I'm sure it probably happened, who knows? But when you have a, a administrator who's managing uh, 200 different accounts, why would they, why would they collude and commit fraud if they could lose their entire business? Or why would the hedge fund accountant collude if he has 200 accounts, they have 200 accounts that they manage, why would they not do the job properly, right? And the fact is that the administrator watches the hedge fund accountant and oversees all the documents to make sure everything's written right, and the hedge fund accountant oversees what the administrator is doing. So you have checks and balances to make sure you don't lose your money. And this is very important to understand that you're not going to lose your money. There's not going to be another fraud case. Yes, we had Bernie Madoff, but that was before the regulation. Yes, we had Sam Bankman-Fried, but there was not, it wasn't regulated properly in the cryptocurrency markets. And so that's something you should have been worried about in the cryptocurrency. How are they protecting your capital? And unfortunately, you didn't realize that. And that's why a lot of people lost out on Sam Bankman Freed. And it's mind boggling to think that someone can raise $40 billion in two years. And so if he could do it, then why can't I? And that's my premise for 2023. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and do thumbs up. It's right there. It doesn't hurt, but it's going to help me out a great deal. Thank you so much.